Hey guys, it's Heather, welcome back. Today, we're going to be deep cleaning and descaling the Keurig. So, pretty sure this is how it works with all of the Keurig models. I will link down below exactly which one I have as well as like the filters that I use and all that kind of stuff because I do get them off Amazon and I get a big pack of them for a good deal. So you only really need one thing for that and that is some white distilled vinegar. A bottle this size will do and this is 32 fluid ounces or one quart. So I'm gonna take you through step-by-step step what I do when it's time to change out the filter and to scale. So what typically happens is that the coffee machine will stop working or the descale button will light up and turn red. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and let's do it. The model I have is the K-Select single serve coffee maker. So I like to take a dry paper towel and wipe out the holder for the K-cup. You can also clean the needle. I will link a video down below on how to do that. So to clean the actual pod where the K-cup goes, you can do a couple of things. I like to use this quick and clean coffee pod. It is an actual cleaner that's made for the Keurig. So you just pop the K-cup in, run it through on a large cycle. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna run it through again with just fresh water to make sure that any extra cleaning solution has been washed out and that there's no extra residue. Another thing that you can do is just use plain old soap and water and like a spray bottle. I just squirt a couple squirts into the pod area, run it on through, and then again, rinse it through with another cup of, either a cup or two cups of fresh water and get it all nice and clean. So there are a couple options in my opinion that both work great. So you can see that the scale button is on, which indicates it's time to clean it. So I turn it off, unplug it, very important. Take out the water reservoir. So go ahead and dump out any remaining contents you have in the reservoir at this point. We're also going to be removing the filter. Super easy, just pull out the tube and out will come the filter. So what you do is you just push your thumbs on the two little buttons and it will pop and release that filter. And then go ahead and just toss that in the garbage. So here are the new filters. I get a pack of 12 off Amazon for like 10 bucks. I'll link them down below. Grab your vinegar. I just have one quart here of just plain white distilled vinegar. Go ahead and pour it into the water reservoir. You might want to use a little bit more than a quart, but I'm just filling it up this much and go ahead and put the cap back on and insert it back into the machine. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn that on. Grab yourself any kitchen mug, a larger one will do the trick. And you're gonna go through and run it just like you would be running when you were using a K-cup. And the vinegar is gonna go through the system. It's gonna clean everything out. It's gonna help to descale and deep clean it. It's gonna be very hot and steamy and you can see all of the debris and particles that have been left over. Actually, mine isn't too bad. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this a couple more times until the vinegar gets down to the bottom of the reserve tank. And that light is gonna show that it needs more water or in this case, more vinegar in order for the machine to work. So with the model I have, I repeat this process four times before that blue light starts blinking and it shows add water with your machine. It may be more, it may be less, but the point is, is to really let it flush out through the whole system and let it go as many cups as it can. So at this point, we ran the vinegar all the way through. It says add water now. So the next step is to just let what sit in the bottom in where it heats up and let it really to scale. I let it go for about an hour before I remove it. And then I go ahead and I'm filling it up with fresh water now. So we're replacing that now with fresh water and just repeat that same process, run it through. It takes about four cups for me. So I am just gonna run it through and you wanna run it until you no longer smell a vinegar smell and it's nice and clear. So the cup should be crystal clear, like how it looks right now. And you shouldn't smell any vinegar because the last thing you want to do is run your machine with, you know, a trace of a vinegar smell. That's gross too. So that's really all you do. Once the tank is nice and clean, I grab a new filter 
and I go ahead and just pop that in. You can hear it snap and click into place. And then go ahead and replace it in and it'll also click in at the bottom and you're all set and your coffee maker is nice and clean and ready to use again. All right, my coffee maker is good to go and that is it. I had to do this, so I figured why not film it and share with you guys what I do because it's something that people don't really, I think, think about to do to change out their filter and their coffee maker and how to clean it. So I hope this video was helpful. I'm gonna link up above how I clean my washer. So maybe you'll wanna check that one out and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.